The inspiration for that is just what really happens to people a lot. <laughs> I mean, they actually, I mean, the horrible torn out throat was very much based on a horrible photograph that one of the uh, guys that worked for me had of a, a man who uh, got his hand caught in a circular saw and, and, and the end results, which I had such a hard time looking at, I'm very, actually very squeamish. And, uh, uh, but seeing how what the flesh did there, and I tried to kind of do a version of that. And I also had some pictures of some mummified heads and things, and just wanted to try to make it look semi-real, you know. So that was kind of the inspiration for those kind of looks. I mean, I, um, and, and you know, I've always, you know, you mentioned *Night of the Living Dead*. I was always, I thought that was a great, scary movie, and, and just the way it was done made it so much scarier, the black and white and kind of documentary kind of way that it was, you know. And, but but I always thought the zombies could have been cooler. You know, they were kind of like people with dark circles around their eyes. And I thought, you know, why couldn't they be really shriveled up dead guys and, and all that? So that's why I was very excited about Griffin's continual, you know, uh, you know decomposition and, and the fact that he would be this kind of talking skeleton. And I thought, let's make a puppet. You know, that'd be a cool way to do it. So because we, we can take away. So I'd actually, you know, had a, started with a clay press out of Griffin's life cast and carved in and made a skull of what I thought Griffin's skull would be. It wasn't real scientific as far as, I know there's a, people have measurements of the thicknesses of skin, I just kind of looked at it, but I think, you know, kind of where it would be, but I think it probably does look very much like Griffin's skull.